Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some post-fight thoughts on Tavares Cloud's victory over Gabriel Campillo. Now, let me just say, if you're analyzing fights, and if you're on BoxRec.com, B-O-X-R-E-C.com, and you see a fight like this, where one judge has one fighter winning the fight by several rounds, but yet the other two judges have um, his opponent winning the fight, then you need to actually take a look at the actual fight to see what happened. And you really have to trust your own eyes and not what the judges say. It's clear to me that Gabriel Campillo got robbed yesterday in his alleged loss to Tavares Cloud. You cannot consider this a loss by Campillo, nor can you even consider it a close fight. This was straight robbery, in my opinion, right? Tavares Cloud has a problem with movement. Not fighters who go straight back, not ambush fighters, but fighters who can literally circle him and stay inside for 12 rounds. Right? That's what Campillo did. Campillo is forcing Cloud to move his feet. And when Tavares Cloud moves his feet, he completely loses his game. If you have an opportunity to look at a film of this, take a look at Tavares Cloud's footwork. It's not that good. Anytime Tavares Cloud lifts his front foot, which he does way too often, he's completely ineffective. Don't go by the decision. Go by your own eyes. Let me just say, the first round is a disaster for Gabriel Campillo, right? He gets legitimately dropped twice. The second time, the ropes hold him up, but that's a knockdown as well because the only reason he didn't hit the canvas was because the ropes held him up, right? He's clearly off balance. He clearly falls into the ropes. Even if you score that round, a 10-7 round, Campillo still should have won this fight by at least three rounds. He keeps Cloud turning like a top. And Cloud just isn't able to reset quickly or come up with ways to slow Campillo down. The scoring, in my opinion, in this fight was an absolute travesty. As I look back on this fight, I'm going to view it as a big win by Gabriel Campillo. I also believe that this fight gives opponents of unbeaten Tavoris Cloud a blueprint on how to beat him. It also leads one to re-examine Cloud's past fights. And when you think about it, he's fighting guys who are right in front of him, attacking him, right? Maybe they're a little bit off at the side, but they stay there like Clinton Woods, like Glenn Johnson. These are high-level fighters, but the point is they don't move. Once you put him in the ring with the mover, not someone who goes straight back, but someone who can circle him a bit and force him to actually lift his front foot, Cloud doesn't know what to do. Let me also say too, and I know this will sound hard, Cloud is 30 years old. I'm just here to say that a fighter who's 30 years old, more times than not, is set in his ways unless that fighter's career is one of evolution where he keeps adding things to his game every few fights think um carl frotch unless he's a carl frotch type you know who you know seems to be evolving while on the world-class stage unless he's a carl frotch type if you see a fighter who's 30 years old doesn't know how to handle movement and 
really does just a few things great, doesn't have the great footwork, doesn't seem to be able to deviate from the script. I'm just here to say that I don't think that fighter is going to learn new tricks. I don't think you could teach an old dog new tricks if that dog isn't the kind that has been learning tricks all throughout. So Tavares Cloud, unbeaten champion at light heavyweight, is vulnerable to someone who can move. I would say that he probably does better against an ambush fighter than he does a fighter who can come in, stay inside, and circle him. I think the latter beats Cloud, especially if he knows how to clinch and how to tie up because Cloud, quite frankly, isn't a guy who makes adjustments or who knows what to do when you're jumping either to his left or his right. I thought the scoring was a travesty. I encourage everyone to take a look at this uh, film. In my opinion, Gabriel Campillo is an uncrowned champion at light heavyweight. Also, keep in mind, the water is deep at light heavy and one division down, right, super middle. And uh, don't be surprised if big names now don't line up to take a shot at Tavares Cloud. It's clear to me that an adaptive, reactive fighter who can move, who has the game mapped already, like Andre Ward, could gain weight and take Cloud's title. I also believe Bernard Hopkins, if his fight with Chad Dawson falls apart, and I'm still a skeptic on whether that fight actually happens, but if that fight falls apart, I think that Tavares Cloud would be a nice feather in Bernard Hopkins' cap. Let me say this, though. As we saw in the first round of this fight, the Campillo fight, any fight involving Tavares Cloud, you're going to have to straddle Cloud by KO because Cloud definitely throws very hard, short punches and always has a puncher's chance regardless of who he's fighting. You know, Campillo is lucky that he tasted Cloud's power in the first round and not the 10th round because at least in the first round Campillo was fully rested and was able to take that power. Had it happened in the 10th round this probably would have been a 10 round KO. I think Cloud lost this fight. If you're analyzing fights I hope you consider the fact that Cloud has a problem with movers especially guys who can move inside and can also be just far enough away from Cloud where he actually has to move if the fighter can stay there like Campillo. And let me also say this too, Campillo has great head movement. Take a look at how Campillo completely neutralizes Cloud's left hand, right? Cloud's left hand is usually a big weapon for him. Campillo completely neutralizes it with distance and head movement while staying close to Cloud. He's rolling his shoulders while being close to Cloud, playing angles. That's A-plus stuff. If you're dealing with a fighter who knows how to intuitively stay away from a left hand and he can move and circle Cloud, I think Cloud's in big trouble. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. I thought this was a grade A robbery. When I see robberies like this, whether it's, you know, Derek Trezora getting robbed against Robert Hellenius or whether it's Gabriel Campillo getting robbed against the Varus Cloud, I think we need to highlight it so the record going forward is clear that the opponent didn't get a fair decision. I understand Gabriel Campillo's camp has protested the outcome. Let's hope a rematch is ordered and let's hope that rematch, no knock on Texas, but let's hope that rematch is in some place with a boxing history, right? Whether it's Las Vegas, whether it's New York City, um, wherever the place is, it has to be some place where the public will know about the fight and will watch it. Thanks for watching.